Helene here with Eyes on the Game here in Boston with the former UFC middleweight champion turned light heavyweight, making your light heavyweight debut this weekend, Chris Weidman. Now, first off, how is this camp not having to cut all that weight? Uh, it's been amazing. I feel better than ever. Uh, you know, I, I was always super positive about my weight cuts. We kind of try to enjoy the moment, but not having to do it now, it makes me really realize like how much I was killing myself and how much better I feel just kind of be at a natural weight. Was your diet mostly the same or could you eat like a lot more carbs, pasta? I could, I could pretty much ate what I wanted at <laughs> this camp uh, and just kind of toned it down a little bit towards the end. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it just made me feel so healthy i mean usually like i said i'm just usually beat up a little bit towards the end of the camps um but because i had a little extra meat on my bones i felt i felt great but did you walk around the same way as when you were cutting down to middleweight or did you you know get to change that um, a little i was i'm a little heavier um my walk around weight was around the same but training it was i'm um, heavier you know i was always i would probably train around like anywhere from like 207 to 210 uh, for this fight camp, I was more like 215 to 221. Okay. Yeah. But training a bit heavier. I mean, did you notice anything as far as how you felt in there, speed wise or power wise? Yeah, I, I mean, no, speed wise, I feel great. Um, mm -hmm. Feel just as fast, and um, I feel like power is definitely up. So I think that's going to be a good thing too. Now, I noticed something that you said was a win over Dominic. You could potentially fight for that title against John Jones. So when you moved up to light heavyweight, did you talk to the UFC about that at all, whether John would be kind of guaranteed next or soon? Uh, no, that wasn't. I'm not. I'm, I, I just kind of needed a fresh start. I was getting my body was falling apart, you know, from from cutting the weight. And I just wanted to, you know, feel healthier. You know, I accomplished all my goals at middleweight. I, you know, became the middleweight champion. I defended it multiple times. And the goal at that weight was to just win it back and do it again, which is kind of like, you know, I was excited about it, but I wasn't like it wasn't I was I wasn't it wasn't killing me inside to accomplish it again. Uh, but being up a weight class, especially in a weight class where you got a guy like John Jones, who is known as unbeatable and hasn't really been beat inside the UFC, that gives me super. That, that makes me super excited to to have that as an opportunity, because that's I love that more than anything to go out there against guys that everyone thinks I can't beat. But right now, do you foresee John as the number one pound for pound? You know what I um. The fact that he's failed drug tests and stuff like that, I think that changes a lot of things. I, I haven't put too much thought into it, but I think anytime you get a guy who's failing drug tests, that's a that's a problem. Now, Dominic is anticipating you using a lot of wrestling in that fight. How do you foresee it going down this Friday? Uh, the plan is to just drag him into deep border and drown him. That's it. Just, you know, he, he hasn't really even been on his back. He hasn't really fought wrestlers. And so um, I'm going to put him in situations where he's really uncomfortable. And um, it's going to change up his striking game, too. When he has, he's going to have to worry about a lot of things. He's not going to want to get taken down because if he does, it's, it's going to be a bad, really bad night for him. So everything opens up more when he have to focus about, he, has, he has to focus on so much more. Yeah, absolutely. And lastly, Johnny Walker, Corey Anderson, that fight's coming up. How do you see that fight playing out? Uh, you know, we haven't seen too much from Johnny Walker other than like flying knees and crazy finishes. Um, so I'm hoping Corey could, you know, make that fight last a little long and we get, get to see a little bit more from Johnny Walker. Um, uh, Corey Anderson is a well-rounded guy, you know, good striking and um, good cardio and, and good wrestling. So I'm excited to see that. I'm not sure.